Well, hello and uh, welcome. This is my new channel. My name is Ava and I'd like to introduce you to what I'd like to do on this new channel of mine. Now, I'll give you a little background here first. I have been doing a YouTube show for the past three years. Uh, with my girlfriend Trudy. Trudy and I have a show on metaphysics called Virtual Tarot with Ava and Trudy. And we've had a great deal of success with that uh, show, the concept, blending together astrology and the tarot. I've been teaching and reading tarot for over 30 years. But even longer than that, I've been teaching yoga and I've been teaching health. Now I want to speak to you very candidly and I want to explain what I want to do here. I would like to create a channel on which you and I can explore all the various aspects of good health and they encompass both physical activity uh, such as what I teach is yoga and I of course have been an athlete most of my life. I have also been <laughs> a vegetarian uh, since I was 14 years old. That is no meat. When I say vegetarian, I mean no flesh. So this is the, where I have to confess as to my age. I am soon to be, within a matter of a few weeks, uh, 64 years old. Now, through the years when I was a vegetarian, I have made a lot of errors <laughs> in eating. Of course, I never ate flesh, but I was drawn initially, well, throughout, uh, to vegetarianism, not necessarily because I understood the nutritional aspects of vegetarianism, but because I have a deep sympathy for the animal kingdom, every member of the animal kingdom. And I realize there's a great deal of abuse and torture involved in uh, the consumption of meat. So when I was 14, I became a vegetarian because of that. I'll tell you the story someday as to how it happened exactly. But my journey through the years has not always been smooth. <laughs> um, I have had periods in where I was literally a starchitarian. That is, I ate a lot of starch. I ate soy. I ate... Uh, breads with yeast. I ate uh, power bars, <laughs> which I consumed an, an enormous quantity of when I was very, very athletic uh, in my 40s uh, during my time in Maui, Hawaii, where I had a school where I taught surfing. It's a sport that is extremely demanding physically. And I remember consuming two or three power bars every single day. So I've never, I've never really, really investigated nutrition on its deepest level, on its deep biological level, well enough. But at this stage, at this point in my life, 
I feel I need to. And so for the past, uh, I'd say three years, I've made a concerted effort to try to understand what happens when we eat various foods. I definitely believe, as the expression goes, food, let food be your medicine and let your medicine be food. I cannot emphasize to you how important it is what you consume. And my dietary uh, indiscretions, my, my dietary mistakes occurred in the young, when I was very young, extremely athletic. And I lived basically outdoors. I had a surfing school. I taught yoga outdoors. I still teach yoga outdoors, but I do not spend as much time outdoors. And I believe that's what saved me, what kept me youthful and vigorous and without disease. Because I immersed myself in sun, in nature, and of course, Hawaii being in the very middle of the ocean had uh, the cleanest air uh, available in, in America which is uh, why I chose to live there. I don't live there anymore. I've lived in Florida uh, for the past almost seven years, I'd say. And though I still am very dedicated uh, to living most of the time outdoors, the weather and various uh, uh, climate aspects of Florida don't permit that. In the summer, it's extremely hot and humid uh, for many, many hours during the afternoon, and you cannot go out. You have to actually hide from that intense heat. And here in the winter, we have actually cold weather, which I wasn't used to coming from Hawaii. So, even though I, of course, have remained a vegetarian and I practice and teach yoga practically every day, I notice how much more important, as I'm aging, it is to be very, very um, cognizant, disciplined as to what I consume food-wise. So, I want this channel to be our journey. I realize I'm a little bit perhaps ahead of you um, in that I have been a vegetarian for so long and that I am extremely disciplined physically. But I also have, again, had uh, periods in my life where I freely consumed uh, <laughs> veggie burgers and uh, french fries sometimes. I mean, I cake. <laughs> uh, so just because you're a vegetarian doesn't mean that you eat well. Not always. So I now realize that probably the best thing I can do is to put myself on an extremely strict alkaline vegan diet. And the reason for that is because I've become convinced that the body's condition from normal every day even even as a vegetarian um, eating as I do fairly a pristine diet fairly <laughs> I 
I tend, we tend to have a very acidic system, metabolic uh, circulatory system. That is, let me explain this to you as I understand it. The whole idea behind an alkaline diet is the understanding that our blood ideally is at the very middle of the alkaline band, that is the acid alkaline band, which runs from zero to 14. The blood is most healthy when it's at uh, 7.36, I believe. So the idea of an alkaline diet, foods that create alkalinity in the body is to bring you back towards a 7.3 alkalinity. Not all things that are alkaline are good for you. Ammonia, <laughs> some toxins are extremely alkaline. But the idea is that we are generally practically without exception, actually, because of the nature of what we consume, meat, um, wheat, um, uh, soy, um, coffee, wine, alcohol, all of, the, the, all of those uh, foods create acidity. And of course, you may not be aware of it, but it's the acidic system that uh, creates ill health, disease. It, um, disease thrives, bacteria, um, viruses, uh, fungus thrive in an acidic system. Consequently, if we can bring us back by assuming a an alkaline diet back to the center, well then we create optimum health. And I have been practicing this for, as I say, um, several months now only. I've been cleaning my body through uh, a fruit fast that it lasted for almost nine months once, just, just, um, a little while ago, just to give myself um, a cleanse, a deep cleanse. Then I was ready to employ or to adopt an alkaline diet. And so I want to bring you along and I want to create for you the recipes that um, I hope you love as much as I do. I will sometimes bring you into my little tiny kitchen and show you how to cook various foods while at the same time, because I'm very didactic, as you might know from <laughs> my other channel. I like science. I like to explain um, nutritionally why we're consuming the foods we are and what their benefits are. So I hope to convey that as I cook, if I'm by myself, I'll be in my little tiny kitchen, which is sweet and very charming. I hope you like it. But I have a girlfriend, um, Christina, who's very funny, who's, who's a novice at all this nutritional, uh, dietary, uh, vegetarianism. She still eats meat. She still consumes cheese and pastas and all kinds of things, but she's a delight and she's striving to become better. And I will be in her kitchen and we will create uh, recipes together because I want you to also identify with someone who is starting out on the journey uh, towards better health, more vitality, and 
greater longevity. That's the idea, isn't it? Is to live very well, to live the best you can, to be the best you can, no matter what age you are. So, that's what I'm going to do here on this channel. I don't know yet what I'm going to even call it. Maybe Ava's Health and Fitness, just because it's obvious. But um, I hope you join me. And I'm going to use this little video as my introduction to the channel and to the concept. And thank you very much. Please tune in. I will try to provide you with many recipes um, which will nourish your body and um, create for you an electrifying system, a system where you consume electric foods that create high electrical charge in your body, creating more alkalinity, and then consequently um, releasing the toxins that have built up over the years. And this, <laughs> hopefully, will um, heal you on a very deep level, deep biological level. So, thank you very much, and uh, tune in uh, for our first show, which should be coming up very shortly. Thank you.